Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. It's Polyester. Hey, stuff's breaking. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. It's Polyester here. And if you watched my video a couple of weeks ago, you saw where I showed off the sewer asset for the swamp map and demonstrated how it was actually an asset that was created in 2016 and had been revealed to all of us in the first anniversary of the Dead by Daylight live stream, which took place in June 14th ish of 2017. They showed that stuff off to us. They're really old assets and that they couldn't be tied to Pennywise in any way based on their age. And uh, so then I talked about how there were some other maps found in the files by Stabby Myers. And then Stabby Myers took it another level and decided to look and see what those maps look like. And I don't pretend to know how he did it. Um, I used to be the kid who was the tech genius who set the VCR clock for my grandpa and he thought that I was a genius. And now I'm where my grandpa was, and I don't understand half the stuff that the young people can do nowadays. But somehow he was able to access these maps, make them work in the game, and show them off to me. And in a, by extension, I'm now going to show them to you and uh, give you a glimpse at what the future may hold, or the future may never hold, what could have been some of these maps that they talked about, the villages, the blood tree, the Haddonfield facility. You're going to get to see all of that here along with the sewer in action. It's pretty cool stuff to see. Um, whether it tells the future, I don't know. But anyway, Savvy Myers sent me his footage and told me that I could use it, so I'm going to show it to you guys here. And uh, I recorded my raw voiceover reaction on it, so you're going to get to hear that. My commentary over the map. So, <laughs> I don't know if you're going to appreciate that, but there's more blah 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 on top of the map viewing, so here we go. Okay, so this first one is called the Grim Gully, I believe, and this is the villages part of the map. You're going to see a lot of similarities to what we now know as the modern Grim Pantry. This may have even been uh, some of the inspiration for Grim Pantry, not sure. It looks very similar here. Similar and yet different. So this is the villages area. You notice there aren't a lot of vaults over the railings here so that's what makes me think that they aren't working on this map that it's not close to completion but who knows what the dev side of it looks like it could look very different from this but it is quite polished and this is close to finished in my opinion compared to the other things you're going to see here i don't know oh we're free camming it now all right hey great totem spot love it so he's just moving around there's an overview there he's left his body there's trappy boy there on the dock and just checking out above and underneath the villages area here and now we're back in his body yeah see that that railing is completely solid isn't it i don't know okay so he's Walking through the swamp. Oh, now he's headed for this new element that we also saw in the anniversary video called the blood tree. And this is like the shelter woods tree on steroids. Look at this thing. This is so cool. I honestly wish this was in the game. It looks pretty amazing. It could be that this isn't in because it just has too many blind spots for the killer. Oh, he's testing the collision there. There's no collision on the tree, apparently. Yeah, it could just be that it's too much of a blind spot for a killer. I don't know. Oh, free mode again. Under the tree. Under the tree. All right, here we go. So this is like a two-part map with two landmarks, the blood tree on one side and the villages on the other, it looks like. I do think the blood tree looks really cool, though. I'd love to know what the reasoning is if this is indeed shelved. And back to body. What are you doing here. Back to body, okay. Is that the golden toolbox? Oh no, it's uh okay, that's the where the basement spawns. Yeah, you can see there's a seam problem there. This map's ready to go, folks! No, the, the, this definitely is not ready to go. Yeah, there's some seam issues there on the tile for sure. 
It does look really cool, though. I mean, this is as close to finished a product as I could imagine. I mean, I don't know what goes on in the studio. Oh, we got an unfinished wall here. All in all, you're just another brick in the wall. So next, I'm going to take you to the infamous sewer that everybody said uh, was confirmation that Pennywise is coming to Dead by Daylight. Again, remember that this sewer asset was created in 2016. Um, Stabby said that this is the Dead Lake map, but I thought we had a leak for Dead Lake before, and it wound up being the Grim Pantry. But he said this is Dead Lake, so I don't know. Here we go. Let's check out the sewer. Now, this is Steve exploring the sewer. Remember, this goes back to 2016 when they were working on this. And um, Stabby, I believe, told me that this map is called the Dead Lake. What's in there? Is Pennywise in there? Do you see him? You see Pennywise in there, Steve? What's in there? Go get him, buddy. Go get him, Steve. Pennywise fell in the well. Can't go in there, I guess. Is there a crack in the other side? What are we doing? I don't know what he did. Whoa! Whoa, Steve, you can't be doing that. Hacks. Reported for hacking exploits. Oh. Okay, so we can see the rest of the map. Oh, going in the sewer. <gasps> yeah. Nothing. Debris. Bunch of debris. Hey, is that the shrimp boat? So is this tile? Is this what? Is this just a pale rose tile variation? I saw the shrimp boat for sure. I don't see no clowns in there, Steve. Hiya, Georgie. What a nice boat. Do you want it back? So next I'm going to take you to the Haddonfield suburb facility map. And uh, Stabby said that this also existed in the Batum files as a facility for Batum and they were identical. So I really get a vibe of this scene with Quentin from the, um, the remake of the Freddy movie. When you see the map in the smokestacks, you're going to understand. But, uh, yeah, this is, like, very unfinished. It's very rough. Don't, I don't know if we'll ever see this, but it's pretty cool to look at. Check it out. Now, this is Steve here exploring the Haddonfield Suburbs facility map. He said that there was also a Badham facility map, but that they were identical. So it could be that this was intended to be uh, a first version uh, alternate map for the Freddy chapter. There was a, an industrial area in a Freddy Reboot movie. There's your little shack. What is that? Great totem spawn, eh? Very Canadian, eh? Wow, look at this long fence. Yeah, this is like nowhere near ready to go. Miles, million miles away from being ready. Okay, so this is the facility, I presume. Let me in! Oh yeah, look at the floor textures here. No... No way in? Oh, what is that? No, no. There's the smokestacks. Three cars! We're gonna loop for days, boys! Look at those three cars! Alright, what do we got here? No way in that place. Oh, is he gonna free cam here? Now I'm free! Oh, well, okay. So there's nothing in there. Yep. It's just a big black box with some textures on the outside. And a couple of smokestacks. Why did you bring me here, Freddy? There's nothing here. Wow. That's, whoa, that's like off the edge of the map even. Yeah, this is uh, a million miles away from being finished. I would, I would be surprised if they're even working on this. But you never know. Tell me what else you got, Steve? What else is over here? Looks like your typical Haddonfield house, from a distance anyway. Yeah. One solitary crow. 
nothing out of the ordinary here that I can see. And then this is somebody's gender reveal party, apparently. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed a look at these unused maps. Will any of them ever be used? I'm not sure. Some of them look pretty close. Some of them look like they're miles away. It is interesting to look at for sure. Maybe we'll see one of these upcoming in the future. Time will tell. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care of each other out there in the fog. Unless you're whoever the new killer is, and I don't have any idea who that is. But if you're that new killer, then do whatever that new killer would do to the survivors and make them suffer. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.